G'day guys, Luke here from Australian Off-Road. Um, as it happens today, we've got a Synergy le uh, leaving for just finished handover, so perfect opportunity. Um, luckily, our wonderful customers have said we can have a look around this trailer. So it's prime opportunity just to show you some of the changes that have happened recently on the Synergy. So we'll head inside first, we'll have a look around on the inside, and then we'll come to the outside. Uh, so some of the features you would already be familiar with. So obviously we've got the Vitra Frigo stainless steel fridge, the under Benz fridge. Um, big feature of the Synergy over some of the other models is going to be this long run of bench space that we've got here. So sticking with the three burner gas cooktop in the back corner, um, you'll see one of the changes that has happened from the original design is this hanging cupboard has been raised in height. So we've actually separated it from the kitchen. Uh, main reasoning for this was to allow the power points to transition to this side um, where originally they were on the bedside of the trailer. It also means that we've got a bit of a break and we step, we put a step or a, a if you like a change between kitchen and bed area rather than the kitchen areas just flowing straight into there. Um, really good feature that we've added quite recently is we put shelves in here now and um, where originally this was just a hanging cupboard so now we've kept the rail in there but we've also accommodated these shelves which in turn gives you as the customer the option of either using the shelving or actually taking them shelves out if you desire to then use it as a hanging cupboard so it makes it a bit more uh, universal to, to different um, sides of what people want to use it for. Um, you can see in this particular one we've got a TV bracket, so this would be a common spot for where the TV bracket would be accommodated in the Synergy. Um, very similar to the Aurora, we try to keep it in this area so you can see it from either A, the seating area, or B, the bed area. Uh, you'll also see fans in this trailer, so this particular customer has gone with three fans. Um, so he's got two at the foot of the bed, which means each, each person's got one each on a night, which is always good. We've also got one just over here in the kitchen area between the two windows. Um, some smaller changes um, that m most people wouldn't pick is that all the windows are now online in terms of the seating area um, and the kitchen area where originally we had a bit of a stagger between windows. The windows in the bed area still at a slightly recessed down height more so you've got good viewing when you're laid in bed. Um, exactly the same windows from the original design so these are all tinted from the outside which means we get good heat reduction inside. Um, also gives it a bit more privacy in here in that you can't see too much through them from the outside. Um, so just moving into the bed area, so you'll see with the bed area we've got more of a vertical headboard in this trailer which is beneficial over some of the other models. Um, a lot of the features that we've tried to incorporate over the years and also taken feedback from customers on different models has been implemented in this and one of them really good features is that headroom in that bed area. So you're getting a good shot there of the change in the headboard obviously with the separate panels that also give it that more modern look um, but really opens up that headspace. Um, then moving through into the table area, so a big difference again from customer feedback and from just things that we've heard over the years would be the, the bifold table. Um, so this allows us, as you can see here, this table to be moved in without having to fully pack it away, so it's quite easy to move in and out. Um, there will be little latches that will hold this on during travel just underneath, so we can easily move this in and out of its um, stored position or in turn its setup position just for ease of using but also making this seating area a bit more comfortable along with the feature of the footrest which are specific to the Synergy model. Uh, just coming through into the kitchen area, so we have changed the draw sequence slightly um, since the original design. More again from just getting different requests from customers and finding out what's more usable. So we have incorporated a deeper draw here which we do class as a pot draw, so this is now regarded as standard. Um, but with the Synergy, same as some of the other models, we have introduced options here where if certain people aren't going to use this pot draw, you can keep this as basically going into a smaller set with longer draws. So instead of having separate draws here, these would run all the way through in longer draws. So it does give you as the customer a bit more of a flexibility there to tweak and change to whatever suits your preferences. Um, now, one of the big changes, which is a really, really good feature, is you'll see on the outside when we touch on the external walk around that we have changed the rear compartment. Um, that in turn has meant that we've now opened up storage of that top section from the back internally. So we've incorporated this hatch in the back wall, which means you've got a huge void there of storage. And this could be just for, for linens, um, just soft storage. It may be clothing, it may be jackets, it may be dunas if you're traveling from hot to cold climates. Um, but really handy space there, which originally wasn't in that design. So this is one of the bigger changes. Uh, power points are going to be standard down the back corner along with at the foot of the bed. So you've got them at both ends of the kitchen. Um, obviously the sink with the strainer, that's going to be standard as well. Um, 
just touching on the drawers at the side of the shower so again we've opened up options here for the customer um, where in turn this is classed as a set of three because this drop down hatch at the bottom is not actually a pull out drawer it's more of a maintenance area so we've got three drawers in here but this can be turned into two which in turn would give you one deeper drawer again so some people may choose to have a deeper drawer here and keep this as the the more longer style drawers or as this customer's done may opt for the three normal drawers here just on volume of storage and what they plan on storing in there now moving into the shower cubicle so obviously one of the big features with the synergy is that it is a bigger shower cubicle than what we have incorporated in some of the single axles so the matrix and the quantum which in turn just gives you more room to operate in there which in turn has also allowed us to incorporate the sink um, the sink is a great feature in there just for on a night being able to wash your hands and brush your teeth in that area um, and then as we pass down you will see that we've also incorporated a storage hatch into that area which is going to be the same as the back area but you can access that from the shower so again as I touched on earlier ideal for linens so towels things like that when you're showering you can actually grab a towel from in there without having to step into this area wet so these are little things that have popped up over, over the course of building more synergies. Um, and a lot of these come from customers, so we're not always going to take the credit for that. Um, but this is really good about a new model, that things get put on the table by customers of what they would find handy. And then if we think it's something that's going to be, be beneficial to the trailer ongoing, um, we tend to look at that and incorporate that. Um, last thing that I'm going to outline inside is going to be the change of position to the Red Arc controller. So the Red Arc manager controller for the Red Vision um, is all going to be moved across to this area more so you can access this as you're either ex entering the trailer or exiting the trailer whereas originally we had it over here where the stereo was and um, we've moved this to this area just so it's easier to function easier to use you're still going to be able to control this off your phone and um, so a lot of the time people will tend to lean that way which i totally understand just for convenience but if for instance you've left your phone in your trailer you can easily pop in here and turn lights on and off plus as you leave the trailer you can easily turn them on and off again so great little features there but these are just some of the changes that we've made um, and as you can see there is variances in color schemes which you will see across pictures and videos that we've done online of different models specifically the synergy as well a lot of them we tend to see dove cabinetry where this customer has gone all white as we call alabaster the actual name for it with the black marble bench tops and um, so it just gives you that bit of um, preference of your own trailer of what you want but yeah hopefully that just outlines for you guys some of the changes that have happened um, plus one good thing lastly is going to be air conditioning so obviously with the synergy the aircon option is a roof mounted option so that gives you a prime example of what it would look like in the trailer so it's not too intrusive on that headspace um, and it does sit at that higher point where the cool air can disperse and drop down naturally so it works really really well um, but yeah hopefully that gives you a good idea guys um, as always any questions let us know um, but yeah this was just prime opportunity to show people some of these features mainly around this area and then we're going to touch on some on the outside as well just so you've got the latest information hello again so we're starting on the outside of the city now so we've covered the inside and um, so just to touch on some of the features on the outside now some of these features you will have already seen in previous videos but just so we can touch them again so with this trailer having the difference to the front end in more of a vertical face to open up that headroom internally, you'll see on the front here, we've got a large pull-out bin. So slightly different to some of the other models where they'd have more access in, in a front boot area. What we've done with the Synergy is we've turned that into two big pull-out boxes on the side. So this is gonna be ease of storage, ease of access. So that's gonna be one of the bigger storage areas. We're then gonna move into the external kitchen area. Now, external kitchen options are going to be very, very similar to what we offer on the Matrix. Um, these designs will change slightly around single bed, so please be aware of that. Um, but as you can see, as per this one, we've got one of the most popular options we offer for the Matrix and the Synergy, which is the twin burner grill. So two burner here with a small grill underneath. We've got a storage compartment just to the side. Provision here for a barbecue, so prime example, we've got a little baby Q Weber sitting here, so that's predominantly what it's going to be tailored for. And we've also got the sink there with a storage area just off to the side. Handy little feature also is a little pull-out prep slide, so really gives you everything you need for cooking outside as well as washing up in this area. Also, as an additional option, you'll see here we've got a pull-out pantry, so again, just trying to gain back as much storage as we can in this area. Um, and again, a lot of these options you're going to be familiar with from the Matrix. So 
for ease of production and ease of build, obviously when we tailored the Synergy, we tried to keep a lot of these kitchen designs that we already had um, and incorporate them and flown through more because of the success we'd had with these, but also just for ease of design and running with what we know works. So that touches on the external kitchen areas. Now these are optional. So standard here would just be a blank slide. Again, exactly the same as the matrix in terms of any kitchen format in this area is going to be an option. Uh, we've got the gas bayonets off just to the side, which will be for that kitchen area. So one will always be standard as part of that kitchen option. If it is selected, a second one will come into play. And um, we can also see here another common option, which again has transferred from the matrix is going to be the stainless steel fold away shelf. So this is portable and um, quite easy to store, but very, very handy in that it's near this external kitchen area. So if we are entertaining on a night, we've got an area there to sick things, drinks, and we can do a bit of preparation of food on there if we need to also. And then just underneath there, you will see that our PowerPoints there, which are standard, um, are on hand again for that external kitchen area. So we're gonna have a 240 outlet there, as well as a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket, as well as a TV connection point. So that's always gonna be standard in that area. And um, just moving through, so one thing that I didn't touch on the inside and it kind of clashes inside outside is now with the airbags, which you'll see in this trailer, again, optional, is all controlled from the control we've got on the inside of the doorway. So with this, it's changed slightly um, over the years, I suppose, since the last time we touched on this. Um, the initial design of the airbags was to run off Wi-Fi, so you actually controlled it off your phone, whereas we've kind of simplified that process and made it all controllable from this controller in the doorway. So you can easily stand here, level up left and right, obviously gauge whether you want to lift the whole thing up or down, and it is going to work off auto leveling through the car. So what I mean by that is when you reverse the car up and plug your Anderson back in and it senses that ignition feed, it will automatically find level again, which in our world is called ride height one. So that would stand for if you've adjusted it on certain terrains, this is more going to be when you come to want to take off, you don't have to stand there trying to find level. You'll just simply plug the ignition in and turn your car on once that Anderson connection's in and that'll then go back to ride height one. Yep, awesome. So a door, you'll, you'll notice with the door, very similar to the Aurora, because of the unique body design that we incorporate into the tandems, there is a curve in the door, so it's not fully flat. And the beauty of this is that we've opened up the width of the trailer at the bottom to open up internal space around that seating area and bed area mainly. But then we taper the design back in rolling up to the top, which in turn means we're back to that narrow pitch um, for more when we're going through off-road and overhanging trees and things like that. So the door will follow that shape, um, which is quite unique to AOR. But you will see in here that we have got a section where we can open up just to allow airflow to come through the door. So during the day, we can keep this clipped on and then this will actually just pivot on itself. So as we're coming in and out of the trailer, we don't need to keep on clipping that. That'll all work with itself. So really handy for that. I mean, especially if you want to sleep on a night um, and leave that open just to allow that extra airflow to come through. Um, and this is a midgy screen. So a common question we get, definitely midgy make sure it's going to stop a lot of them bugs coming through. Uh, rolling around to the rear. So some of where the bigger changes have happened from the original design, um, this area, it's pretty much stayed the same, but just to show you this again, um, you've got an area there which really is just a storage compartment, but for specifics, it would be tailored more for people when they've got air conditioning to incorporate that generator. So you'll see on this particular one, we've got a vent on the side and we've got a vent to in, uh, filter sorry, inside the compartment. That is also, if a generator is housed in there, obviously for the fumes, they can escape through that vent. So that is optional in terms of the vent. If you don't plan on putting a generator in there, it is just gonna be another open storage compartment for you. Another option you'll see on this one, which is quite common, is going to be uh, the three to four G antenna um, or the self go, which would look the same in appearance on the rear in terms of it's got an aerial here, um, but that really is for reception boosting. So that's gonna help with um, phone signal for certain people, or if some people are traveling with their own modems, they can link this through to that to try and boost signal. Um, single lens camera, so there is options with reverse cameras. We've started to raise these up in height now, um, where originally we ran them quite low. Obviously we wanna try and get them up a bit higher. We've tweaked things inside to be able to incorporate that wiring and hide it inside and get that better view down onto whatever we're trying to see when we're reversing. Um, this particular option is, is an option, but very, very handy option, which we are starting to look at introducing on some of the smaller trailers as well. So what we've changed here is instead of having the two separate taps, which we've rang for a long time, is this style of fitting is more 
uh, class as a flick mixer, if you like. So the shower rows will plug into this and that'll allow you to engage temperature off that flick mixer rather than using water in, obviously trying to find the temperature, bringing in a cold and a hot tap. So a great, great feature. We are looking at trying to introduce these across the board, um, but that is something that's probably on the cards over the next six to 12 months, but can be done in the synergy, as you can see here. And this particular customer has moved it external, whereas normally it would be just inside. So as a standard, the actual shower fittings would be inside this compartment. So obviously if we want this design, we have to specify this, but just outlining you what can be done. Um, now touching on this area, so we kind of touched on this slightly when we were inside the trailer in saying that we've reduced this compartment in height. So for people that are aware with the original design or see the pictures online of the original design, this door was a lot taller. And what we had then is we had that storage basically accessible only from the rear, which meant um, if you wasn't that tall um, or you didn't have a little stool on hand, it was quite hard to access for a lot of people. So again, we've taken that feedback and we've actually reduced the height of the door. We've still got a lot of storage in here, but that top section of storage that would have been accessible only from the outside is now what we're accessing from the inside, from the shower cubicle and the rear compartment of the kitchen. So we've changed kind of the dynamics of what that storage is gonna be used for. But in turn, I think that's a really good change because inside having that access from the shower is just such a handy feature. Um, and we've still, as you can see, got a hell of a lot of storage in this back area. Um, this particular customer has decided to use this for storage, but there is options in this area of have a, having, let's say, a, a 2.5 kilo washing machine. Um, if people want dual spare tires, that could be incorporated as a second tire in there. So there is little changes that can be done. There's options there, but for most people, this is just going to be a handy storage area where some of them bigger items can be stored. So moving round to the side, so staying the same as the original, we've still got the gas bottles down this back end. So if you imagine internally where we've got the cooktop, these gas cup bottles are pretty much gonna be straight underneath. So one obviously ease of plumbing, getting the gas to that connection point. And um, plus down the back, it's always handy down this area on this side, cause we're not accessing this area too much. So rather than putting them in one of the areas that's gonna be a popular area and losing storage for something else, we tend to keep these down the rear of the trailer, just out of the way. So two 4.5 kilo gas bottles and um, water tanks would be standard of what we what we've known since the original Synergy and what we know on the rest of the model. So two 140 litre tanks standard, one at the rear, one at the front. You'll see that this particular trailer has got a third fill point, which is going to be for an additional tank that can be added in above the axle. Moving down, hot water system. So again, very familiar product with what we use across the range. That's gonna be your gas hot water system. So we just need to drop this down on use. Very, very easy to use. The cover's obviously there to stop any dust or water getting into that point. Um, also acts as a protective cover just to cover off that fascia. We're then moving into our plumbing area. So in here, we've got a lot of the componentry. You can see the diesel heater straight away. We've got his water pump here. The side of the hot water system is going to be kind of exposed on that side as well. But this area is where we incorporate all the plumbing internally. So water filters are going to be in there. Your taps are going to be in there in terms of switching between hot and, um, sorry, front and rear tanks. Um, all your hot feed, your cold feed into your hot water system is going to run through there as well. So we'll give you a good shot of that just so you can see. But that's a great area where you can obviously easily access everything for maintenance. And then last but not least, Back to the storage across the front. So this is going to be the bigger storage area. So we've got this on the driver's side and the passenger side. The passenger side is just gonna be slightly shorter um, and not as wide, but big, big storage area here. So what we've changed in the design of accessing through the front, we've given back in these two areas between the driver's side and the passenger side. So you can obviously gauge some of the items that are in there as to how much volume of storage you've got. Um, but all your storage is gonna be externally between these two lockers and then that rear compartment. Yep. And then for those that have got a keen eye and know our products quite well, you may notice that this has got a bit of a slightly different um, external color. Now the reasoning for this is this has got the vinyl wrap. So this is a very, very new option in our world. Um, one that we've done quite a bit of research into and we've done quite a bit of testing with in uh, our R&D quantum, which you may have seen some videos on. Um, so same color scheme, but basically this is what we call the armor now. So this is an armor wrap to the bottom half. Uh, more of a pitted texture, so very, very heavy duty, more for stone impact. Um, so this is what's now taking over the option of the Raptor. And then at the top, we've got more of a satin finish in the Dove Grey, um, which is actually fully covering the, 
the uh, fiberglass gel coat finish. So this is what we're really pushing to customers about the wrap is the appeal from both ends is our appeal is we're covering the gel coat. So we're giving you ultimate protection. Um, and from the customer side, maintenance in terms of, let's say, surface scratches, a lot of these trailers are going to get that being that they're going off road. So we're actually going to end up damaging or scratching, let's say, the wrap rather than straight into the fiberglass and the gel coat. So big, big appeal for that front. Plus, there's a lot more benefits in terms of um, color options. You can open up a few color options. But just in what we've done in research, just how well it stands up to the to the climate, how well it stands up to UV, how well it stands up to our conditions, especially Outback. Um, really, really good, really easy to clean, but longevity wise, it can be replaced. Um, yeah, and you can open up different color options. So this is something that is gonna happen across the range, but yeah, brilliant to see it on this trailer. This would be one of the first tandems we've done with this color scheme and it looks really, really good. So yeah, hope everyone enjoyed that. Hope you've enjoyed the walk around. Good opportunities to see these changes that we've incorporated. Um, so yeah, any questions at all, so as, um, as you always do, let us know, call through. And yeah, we hope to hear from you. We hope you enjoyed the synergy. Thank you.